welcome back to the channel, everyone. Now we're down here. Some of you might recognize this this place. We're back here in Mark's shop. Say hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, guys. Mark was kind enough to let us come down here and uh, start adding some accessories to the YXE. So uh, we're just doing a bit of a measure up here. What's the what's the measure measurement you got there, Mark, for the I, stock the, tires? The, so the stock tires to the frame as it sits with nobody in it. 12 and a half at the front. 12 and a half. And at the back, I believe we got, hang on here one sec. You're getting a picture of Mark's ass. Yeah, yet. exactly. Switch you on. 11 and 3 eighths. Okay. So we'll see what we get when we put the new ones on. Now these tires are, I'm sure they're overinflated. I haven't touched the the pressure on them since uh i picked the machine up so they're showing like 28 and a half yeah they're supposed to be a 29 but big horns don't don't measure two 29s true 29s i should say so uh again they're probably harder too yeah so if you put them down to a normal operating pressure they're uh they're gonna be maybe a 28 yep so and we got here we got some uh efx moto claws right here Stand it up beside it there, Mark. We'll just see what the comparison is. Quite big a difference. difference. That's a big difference. Big difference. Yeah. And we got fuel rims. Fuel rim V lock rims. That's a true 30. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we thought when we measured them. So that's gonna be our first mission for the day, putting those on. And see uh We'll go from there. And then we got uh, we got the roof to put on. We got fender flares to put on. Uh, and a few other little pieces here. Radio, radio, USB port. So full day. Well, uh, yeah. I just took Mark out for breakfast, so this way he doesn't have to stop. He can just, just keep, keep working, working, working the whole day just long. Keep, and yeah, I had to, I had to put my can am under wraps because we didn't want to have to, you know. Yeah, well, no one wants to see that in the video, anyways, Mark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, we have to unveil. The new, we'll have to un unveil the new uh, the new paint scheme in the first ride of the year. Uh, oh, your wrap. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's going to be picked up 19, 2025. He, he, he's so. probably probably got a blue one, making it look like a Yamaha, maybe. Pretty pretty sure not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got the tires on her now. You want to do a little measurement there, Mark? Absolutely. So now we are 13 and an eighth on the front. And we were what before? 12 and a half. 12 and a quarter, wasn't it? 12 and a quarter. I'll come around this side so you don't get your ass this yeah, time. That'd be perfect, thank you. And this one, you're 12 and 3 eighths. So, so 12 and 3 eighths and from then, 11 and 3, so that's an inch. It's an inch, yeah. Yep. So we gained an inch all around. So all around. There's Plus the, or minus. There's the tires, fellas and gals. They look sweet. They look nice. What's next? EFX motor claws. On the fuel bead locks. You can see them there. Nice looking rims. And they're a factory option. Yeah, they're right off the Yamaha Canada. I don't know if it's in the Yamaha US website or not, but on in Canada, they're right on the accessories for uh, for Yamaha, the fuel bead locks and those EFX tires. So we're gonna give them a go and see different reviews on the tires. Some guys say they wear a little quick, but I guess we'll find out. But, so I guess now uh, what do you want to do? Roof? Let's put the roof on. Make it look like a machine. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna go at the roof next. <laughs> Mark here, if you take notice, he's 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 advertising for shock therapy today. Absolutely. Should be well erasing seeing how we're working on a Yamaha. Oh, whatever. <laughs> here, you want to see why? Right <laughs> well, you want to see that blue wrap you got on that? Yeah, blue wrap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we can give you a teaser. Can we give you a teaser? I don't know if I can give you a teaser. That's okay, Mark. No, oh, we'll, yeah, we'll save it. We'll save the blue wrap. We'll save the blue wrap. We'll save the blue we'll wrap we'll uh, for uh, yeah, for yeah. West Virginia. He's he's probably even got Yamaha stickers on it. Pretty sure I don't. 
<laughs> Probably got arm max down the side of it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you sold it. I already had it before you sold it. What are we doing here, Mark? Um, it's not Christmas. There's like 7,000 bags. Each item for the roof is individually wrapped for its own protection. Like, we mean every bolt is individually wrapped. Yeah. Every nut, everything. Everything. <laughs> so It's like Christmas, we're opening up all these presents. Exactly. And this is just to put the roof on. Just to put the roof on. Yeah. I mean, it's all nice rubber mounts and everything. Like, yeah. it's gonna be. Looks like it's gonna be a good system. Yeah. We went ahead and, uh, Mounted my radio before we put the roof on. Well, it's there loosely. Uh, that's where we're going to put it up there. Uh, yes, I won't be able to see the dial, but after we get the channel set, all we do is turn the radio on. We don't change the channels throughout the ride. We never changed them hardly at all last year. I think nope. we changed them once when that when Richard showed up that time. But yeah. uh, otherwise, we leave it on one channel pretty much the year. So just turning it on and off doesn't matter if I can't see the channel or nothing. So. Because on the front, if we mount it up on the front bar, uh, there's a little, like a fan thing here at the back. And if I don't have a windshield on, all the rain and dirt and mud and everything's gonna go right into that. Well, at least this way, it's not gonna. On my arm axe, I didn't have to worry about that because the roof was up high enough that I was able to tuck it right up in there and I had no issues at all with it. Yeah, so. and, and you're right, Donnie. Every individual nut is in a bag. 1,700 items to open up. <laughs> it's just like Christmas. Yeah, bonus. Mark, Mark's all excited because he's working on a Yamaha and it's, it's like Christmas. Just like Christmas. <laughs> Gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> okay, we got the roof on. Some more of our, our guest riders here showed up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be out, Derek. You might as well just come over and get in the camera. <clears throat> We got the roof all mounted. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Only downfall, like I said earlier, every nut and bolt and piece and bracket, everything was packaged separately from Yamaha. I don't know how many packages we had to open, but there was a shit ton. So. 87. Oh yeah, Mark, he just brought Moosey over here. Yeah, he needs, needs to be on. Yeah, we gotta get him fastened on there. Yeah. Yeah, we missed. We should have had the camera rolling because Derek was over here checking her all out. Yeah, stand back, <laughs> afraid of it. I even heard Nancy say she liked it. No, wait, 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 hold, hold it. No, wait. What did you say? It looked like a Razor 200? The, the, the clown car? Yeah. Oh, okay, just wanted to make sure. I did, I did like Nancy. Sorry, darling. Uh, <laughs> Derek, he's been checking her all out thoroughly nice though. Part is right here. It's nice What's and that? red. What's that? Found some red on it. It's the only nice well, that's part just, of it. That's just a reflector so that when it's dusty behind me, you'll see me. No, when we see you flipping down the trail, we'll see the red reflector <laughs> <going>. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, got, I think I've got some trailer safety things I can put on here yeah, too. Yeah, probably need some of them on there as well. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Okay. See, it wouldn't be a video without Derek's smart ass comments in it. Yeah. No. <laughs> You need the backup. It's a nice machine for a Yamaha. But Derek, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Where, have you found out where that belt goes yet? Because I don't need it either. Well, I've been looking here and I haven't found one on this one yet. I think you should probably still carry one with you just in case. Just in case? Just in case. For the yeah. Can-Ams and the Polarises? It doubles as a tow strap, I'm told. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I never thought of that. Of course, there's nowhere to tow it at the back unless you tie it to the frame. No, that's because you're always towing them home from the front. Oh, right, good point. <laughs> but right, that's why you put, work. <laughs> put that winch on there just so you'd have a hook exactly hook to the honda i'm surprised you didn't bring the great kazoo with you well he stayed in the city this weekend if not i probably would have brought him with me <laughs> yeah but well, we do have a reflector on the back so yeah yep another nice honda color there again it's got some honda on it i like it that's so you can see me fly by you fly by me i don't know where that is. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm not sure what we're gonna do next. What are we doing next, Mark? Uh, we're gonna talk about the uh, Maui. You gotta show your radio. Oh yeah, there. yeah. Well, he's kind of somewhat did before there, but we got the radio mounted up there. If you can kind of see it, where's the light, Mark? Uh, yeah, good point. Where is the light? Where is the light? Is it, there, is it on your sheet? No. 
Oh, got it right here. There you go. Shine light in there, man. There you go. There's where we mounted our radio. Up okay. out of sight, out of mind. Pretty disappointed, Don. That's not up to your normal cleanliness, that that radio. I know, I know. <laughs> we'll have the armor roller. Yeah. yeah. Well, WR products, don't they make something to clean that? Oh, we'll get we'll get her clean. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Right down there, checking her all out. Checking out that little front diff in it. Huh? That little front diff in it. Oh, don't you worry about the front diff. Yeah, this guy's kind of tiny, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Baby like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, we gotta get back to work here. So we'll like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy's over here just staying quiet. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we needed to have it. Okay. You are gonna get that? No. Nah. Put the fender flares on there. This is the box they're in. Derek said I had to do a little unveiling of the box here. Luckily, not everything is is uh individually wrapped like the the roof was so that's a bonus you got lots of bubble wrap well packaged here again more yamaha quality products lots of lots of padding in there you know these people over here are talking k and m crap again there yeah yeah you, here's the guy that says the spark brakes on us do. What are you talking about? There's no front brakes on this could do. <laughs> Jesus. I thought it was just the brake on that side, okay? <laughs> no, you said front brake. <laughs> oh, Lord love and duck. Fenders, is it going to fit in the trailer? That's the question. It will. You did the measurement. We haven't put them on yet. <laughs> well, I hope the hell they're not that wide. Well, they may need to be because, you know, there's not much plastic on this machine. We did get a picture of Derek and Nancy sitting in it, though. So... We'll have to make sure we insert that into the video. Yep, free dinner because of that. Don bought his dinner. You guys to sit in it. Yeah. Well, you should have been here earlier because I already bought breakfast. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Put a fake smile on. Yeah, you know, exactly. All the self-driving yeah. <laughs> screws to hold these fender flares on. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to get at that and catch up with these here in a bit. Well, uh, Derek just, just reaching for the... The Honda parts. I think that goes right there. No, no. Uh, no probably right no. there. Yeah. No. Look at that. No, well, fuck, maybe it does. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> You've gone confused already. I went, I went and bought aftermarket pieces for there, and here this one comes with it. So the right. research you did was pretty shoddy there. You didn't know what you had to do. I guess I'll be sending those back. <laughs> Amazon return, baby. All right. Okay. We're putting these fender flares on and the bolts that uh, they say to use again. Okay, explain here, Mark. Okay, so the, this is the original bolt size. That, that come out of here. Came out, that comes out of the fender and they tell you to reuse the one. I can't get it to start. It it's needs to be. Enough. It needs to be this long. Another quarter of an inch. So what we did, what I did was longer. I went to the next panel over and see if I could switch and sure enough, they're the right length. Those two bolts are longer than the two bolts that were in here. And but the two bolts in here will fit, will fit in, here. in there. So that's so we what just, we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So that's so again that that's a way that's a workaround to make it work. Show them the front if you want how we got the front done. Yeah, we got the fronts all on here. Oh, I know there is another kit you can buy guys that comes out here somehow. I don't know. Uh, stops a little bit more of the mud. We'll see. See how that works out. Yep. Good. I got an idea. That guy's still here. Hey, on the TV. <laughs> he... Oh yeah, yeah. Who, which one? Who we got playing here? This is Derek's. This is Derek. Derek Easton, seventy-four. Yep. YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Latest post. Well, what about what about what else? That's it. Like and subscribe. TikTok. Thanks for watching. TikTok, Instagram, Don's ATV Adventure. Don't forget about him. You got Facebook too, don't you? Facebook, yeah. Yeah. God, you gotta get in practice again. You give me yeah. a month off or two months off, and you're all out of practice. It's holiday season. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I gotta do, Don? We'll get them warmed up here again. This Yamaha is like just throwing me yeah. off my game. Because you're in awe. No. Yeah. And all that you bought another one. <laughs> thought you would have learned your lesson. Okay, what we're gonna do? Most people well, don't make a mistake twice. Oh god. Apparently Don does.
Well, yeah. you and Mark have made a mistake owning these things. What, skidoos? Bruh. <laughs> They're really cheap to own right now. Yeah. You don't even retire, require gas or oil today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. When it's what, plus one or two or whatever yeah. right there? Yeah. yeah. That's Celsius for the Americans of Austin. <laughs> so that'd be like, what, 33 degrees, 34 degrees Fahrenheit? Something, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Not very good snowmobile conditions when it poured rain yesterday. Yeah. You can't go snowmobiling, we work on Yamaha. Yeah, we work on Yamaha. It's always the Yamaha that needs some work. <laughs> no, this is accessorizing. Accessorizing. And trying to improve something that should be good already because yeah. it's brand new. Oh, come on now. You put accessories on your Honda. Not when I first got it. Well, it, went right, it went right into the showroom to Lingham Lake. <laughs> <laughs> no assessment. This, this probably would have too if it hadn't been summertime. Oh, here we, yeah, summertime, like August when it's all dry, rain, and <laughs> yeah. dusty. And... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm going to switch <laughs> the chrome one that they give you to supposed to be here. So yeah. go black, black, chrome. Not going to happen. I'll take the black one out of the front, put it back here, and put the chrome so you have chrome all up front. There so you go. Shiny at the front. You there know, you go. That one's already done. Oh, right on. Yeah, you can see, how, see how he did here? Chrome and chrome. And this one here is... That's why they, that's why they told you to do it. Chrome and black. So we're going to change that out now. Mark's a little OCD. So oh. you know stuff's always... <laughs> not a little, I should say a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not based on that sticker at West Virginia. You could have put it in the center and I would have left it there. Well, all that the pink sticker, at least you're, you're driving. You're side by side yeah, for yeah. girls or whatever yeah, the hell whatever. it was there. Yeah. 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 I would have left Don it. does like his stickers. He hasn't even taken them off the tires yet. I know, eh? I don't know. You got you to gotta leave them on there. Leave them on there. Yeah, you got to leave them on there. Yeah. Yeah, you got to leave them on. It's like, it's, like, it's like leaving the sticker on your hat. No. Which I don't do that, but. No. <laughs> Homeboy. Well, we got our fender flares all mounted here, as you can see. You don't fit just a hundred percent, like in line there, but that's the best we could get her lined up. Uh, I do have to get a uh, longer bolt here because the bolts they send with it aren't uh, aren't long enough. I can say Mark stole two from here to put in here, but even this one here. We had, you have to put a nut on the bottom. These ones thread into a, a nut that's already welded to the, the bracket there. But this one here, we got a nut on it, but it's like two threads. So I'm going to have to get a longer one. I have metric bolts, but I want to have them all matching. So I'm going to have to... Who's, o, to the, who's OCD now? <laughs> well, yeah, you know. You got you to make the Yamaha look good. But, uh, yeah. So they look okay. It'll look better when we get her outside we'll get a better shot of her when you rip it in the snow yeah not nah. you ain't get her dirty yet <laughs> even though we want to can't do that yet got to keep her half ass clean to get everything on it it's a lot easier to nicer to work on so okay so what are we gonna do now mark i'm gonna put the antenna on and then we're going to figure out for my external speaker if we want you to do, do the internal speaker yeah no. everything else is done the fenders went in the front ones went in perfect oh yeah yeah they were easy yeah yeah so okay just take your time and put it in all works yep okay we'll continue on well you we got pretty much what we planned on getting done today done we got our new tires all on her 30 inch EFX motor claws with the fuel rims, 14 inch. These are 30 by 10 by 14s. Got our fender flares mounted, as you can see. We just mounted Moosey on here. Got to have Moosey on there. Got our roof on. What else do we do, Mark? Uh, radios inside. Oh, yeah, we got the, got the radio mounted. Wired rugged, in. Rugged radio, external speaker. Uh, I haven't got the antenna on yet. I had just ordered another bracket uh, to mount on the cage here for the antenna. I had one to go on this bar, but we want to put it out here. So I had to order uh, another bracket for that. That'll be here Monday. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, we put our seat belt bypass switch in. It was down in there. You can see it. It's right down there anyways. It was easy enough to do. And uh, yeah, that's about, uh, that's about what we got done today. Yeah, good day. Had a nice visit from Derek and Nancy. They popped over. I did get a picture of Derek in the YXE, just so everyone knows. And Nancy as well. So, uh, yeah. So that's going to be the extent of the video for today. And uh, we'll continue to build. Uh, I got to get a skid plate for it yet. Uh, probably either a trail armor or factory UTV. I'm kind of leaning towards trail armor, but not positive yet. And uh, we got to put the USB port in yet. Uh, what else we got to do, Mark? Front lights. Yeah, yeah. Ox beam uh, probably be sending me some some lights for the grill here to put up in here where and the pod the lights would light. be. And I'm the gonna get light. yeah. And I'm gonna put a couple of pod lights right here. Get the bracket to mount on there. So put a pod light there and a chase light for the for the back. With uh, I already got the wire harness that plugs into the existing tail light and uh, uh, the chase light it's got the red lights on the outside corners so when you hit the brakes those lights will light red because right now the arm or the YXE only has a single tail light this way it'll have basically three yeah. so maybe yeah. we'll get a video of you putting it into the uh, trailer why no you don't want to see that <laughs> no I don't have no mirrors yet I got mirrors coming. We're They're on their way. Forward. We're not going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> the mirrors are on their way for it. Rear view mirror and the side mirrors. So it's yeah. been fun so far. It's starting to look like a machine now with the roof and the flares on it and the tires and rims. So looking good. Again, I want to thank Motorsports Trenton, Curtis and Brian out there. It's an awesome machine. Go see them for all your Yamaha needs. Uh, G3 boats, veranda boats, pontoon boats, uh, all your Yamaha power sports, snowmobiles, dirt bikes, street bikes, generators, water pumps, whatever you need, go see them. Trenton, Ontario, Motorsports of Trenton. So, okay, we're going to sign off for now and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, we just pulled her outside here before I. Uh, Sign off for the video here. Thought I'd just give you a little walk around here. Now it's outside, you can get a little better view at it. Looks a lot nicer. Those fender flares, tires, and rims. Starting to come together. And the best thing at all of all, Mark. What's that? Yamaha. Ah! <laughs> I'll keep the camera going. Isn't that, isn't that like those videos, you know, you see there on TikTok and all that? Yamaha. <laughs> we'll get you to the trailer first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. As you can see, lots of snow here still, but it is above zero hey, Celsius. Hey, Motorsports Trenton. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Motorsports of Trenton. Right there. Okay, we'll catch you on the next one.